Glucose is an energy source for many organs, especially our brain. Insulin is a hormone produced in the pancreas. It helps transport glucose through the blood. Glucose is used as an energy source there. In type 2 diabetes, the body becomes insulin resistant and cannot use this hormone efficiently. This forces our pancreas to work harder to make more insulin. Over time, the cells in the pancreas become damaged. If insulin is not produced enough and the body cannot use it efficiently, glucose builds up in your bloodstream and our cells cannot take the energy they need. Uncontrolled type 2 diabetes can lead to potentially serious complications. Certain factors increase the risks. Your risk is greater if you have a brother, sister, or parent with type 2 diabetes. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, with this we can reach more people and continue to produce new contents. Type 2 diabetes can develop at any age, but our risk increases when we get older. The risk is particularly higher when we reach the age of 45. Women who have polycystic ovary syndrome have high risk. Being overweight means more fat tissue, which makes our cells more resistant to insulin. Our risk increases if we have an inactive lifestyle. Doing exercise uses up glucose and helps our cells respond to insulin. Eating too much affects your blood sugar levels badly. The risk increases if you have gestational diabetes or prediabetes. If you have diabetes symptoms, you should see your doctor right away. Your doctor can diagnose it by doing a blood test. Can we prevent type 2 diabetes? There is nothing we can do about our genetics, ethnicity, or age. However, few lifestyle changes can help delay or even prevent the type 2 diabetes. If these changes don't work, our doctor can make some suggestions for losing weight. These changes in diet, exercise, and weight management work together to help keep your blood sugar levels in the ideal range throughout the day. Curcumin, vitamin D, and even coffee may also help you prevent type 2 diabetes. Complications associated with type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes can be managed effectively, if not, it can affect almost all of our organs. Skin problems, such as bacterial or fungal infections, nerve damage or neuropathy, which can cause loss of sensation or numbness and tingle in your extremities. Poor circulation to the feet, which makes it harder to heal when you have a cut or infection. It can also lead to gangrene and loss of feet or legs. Hearing problems, eye damages, which can cause worsening vision, glaucoma, cataracts, and retinopathy. Cardiovascular diseases such as high blood pressure, angina, heart attack, and stroke. Type 2 diabetes can develop slowly. At first, symptoms can be mild and easy to dismiss. Early symptoms constant hunger, lack of energy, weight loss, extreme thirst, frequent urination, dry mouth, itchy skin. The symptoms become more severe and potentially dangerous as the disease progresses. You can effectively manage type 2 diabetes. Your doctor will tell you how often you should check your blood sugar level. The goal is to keep glucose at a certain level. Tips for keeping type 2 diabetes under control include foods rich in fiber and healthy carbohydrates in your diet. Eat at regular intervals. Fruits, vegetables and whole grains will help keep your blood sugar levels stable. Control your weight. Minimize refined carbohydrates, sweets, and animal fats. Making exercise at least half an hour a day helps control blood sugar. Not everyone with type 2 diabetes needs to use insulin. If your doctor has prescribed insulin, it's because your pancreas isn't producing enough insulin on its own. It is very important that you take your insulin properly. There are other prescription medications that can help. Warning signs of type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children and young adults, but can occur at any age. Symptoms of type 1 diabetes. Sudden and unintentional weight loss. Wetting the bed after a history of being dry at night. Yeast infection in a prepubertal girl. Flu-like symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, fruity breath, breathing problems, and loss of consciousness. It occurs flu-like because the undiagnosed diabetes causes ketones in the bloodstream. This is a medical emergency situation and requires immediate medical treatment. If you have type 1 diabetes, unfortunately, you will need to use insulin for the rest of your life. Thank you for watching and subscribing.
See you on next videos. Stay healthy.